my thyroid was kind of like there was a lump there and then I was kind of you know feeling it feeling both sides feeling that the one side was bigger than the other. They test it to see if it's cancerous because the first thing they think is if you have a nodule on your thyroid it's likely thyroid cancer. It came back negative and then that's when I went to Dr. Suff for the first time. He did an ultrasound and he recommended having surgery. The typical thyroid surgery is they just kind of go right in through your throat and you have a pretty big scar. Um, and I scar pretty badly as it is, I'm fair skinned and I keloid scar. So I was like, I don't want this huge worm across my throat for the rest of my life. Luckily, this robotic surgery kind of minimizes the scarring. They enter through kind of the um, crease of your armpit. And he said, you might have small scars, but the incision that I make is literally like two centimeters. For someone who keloid scars, I can barely see my scars. Like they're pretty much non-existent. In the few days after my surgery, and he would call almost every day to check in. He would ask me how was I feeling. He could tell that my voice was kind of shot and he was like, don't worry, you know, this isn't gonna be a permanent thing. You're gonna have your voice back. Just make sure you rest and everything. So it was really great that he, I've never had a doctor who calls you at home and asks you how you're doing. I asked Dr. Sa, I signed up for this half marathon in April. Am I still gonna be able to run it? and it was my slowest half marathon ever, but it's okay, um, at least I finished. It was very cool to be able to say, you know, I had surgery a month ago and I was down and out for a week and now here I am crossing the finish line at this half marathon.